to the ground. Cheek. Yeah, I have a Lego spoon. Yeah, I have a Lego table. Yeah, I have Lego walls, but I don't have to eat Lego. Check this out. <sighs> okay, that was like one sip of water, not even, and we're out. Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Papa Jake, and we are back with a brand new video, and today guys, we are standing outside of my Lego box fort. That's right, this two-story Lego fort of awesomeness. And today, I have decided that I wanted to try and take the Lego fort to new heights, to new challenges. That is why you guys were suggesting in our last video that we should take our Lego fort outside and try and survive 24 hours in the wilderness. Where the bunnies run free and rabbits also run free. Just like the pioneers did oh so many years ago, I will be taking a bunch of Legos outside and having to build my very own fort and survive in it for 24 hours. I will have no heat, no electricity, and a small bag of supplies. I hope Legos are very insulating because it is still cold out there and there is literally snow on the ground. This is literally all I have defending me from crazy raccoons. So we gotta make sure that this fort is strong, tough, and durable. Only me and you guys know about this right now because I know Logan's gonna come in here. He's gonna say, Jake, you can't survive outside in a Lego fort. Jake, Lego forts get cold. What if it rains? What if you get attacked by raccoons? But I say no. I say you guys know that Papa Jake is 100% savage and will be surviving in this Lego fort. If you guys think this is an awesome idea, do not forget to smack that like button. And if you guys want us to buy more Legos, don't forget to try and get this video to 50,000 likes and we will double the amount of Legos we have for more awesome ideas. But let's uh, let's tell Logan about our little plan. Uh, Lo Logan? Logan! I started the intro. I told him about the video. Today, Logan, we are building a Lego fort outside and surviving in the wilderness like the pioneers! Why would we do that? Because inside was too easy, so we're gonna take it outside where there's raccoons and rain and cold. Again, why would we do that? Because, Logan, we need to prove that we can build a Lego fort that we can survive in. Also, I think it'd be pretty funny just out there in a little Lego fort, you know? Like, just like me sitting in a little Lego fort, and there's all these big houses around me, but I'm sitting in this little house. Don't worry, Logan, I've got this whole thing planned out. First things first, we need some of these bad boy Legos. Some of these? I think we'll need all of them, Yeah, we we'll are. Uh, this is gonna just, I'm just gonna, I'm just, it's just, it's just simple. Oh, no, 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 Jake, no. be careful. Oh, Logan, Logan, the Lego! Logan? Okay, hold, hold on, I can, I can hold it, Logan. Just, 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 put the camera! Down, bud, at any point during that and saved my life. Well, we dismantled the fort. Step one is complete. Step two, we need to come up with the designs. All right, Logan, the plans are quite simple. You see, Legos are cubed, which means they look like this. But yeah, Jake, I know what Legos look like. Okay, well, using my architecture skills, and I am quite the architect, I have developed the plan to create a Lego survival fort that looks like a big cube. Now I know what you're looking at might be confusing for you. This might be advanced, but this is the best way we will be able to survive outside and also keep out the evil raccoons. So we will survive outside and if there's any raccoons out there, I'll load up my Lego blaster like this and take them out just like this. The sun's gonna be going down, it's cold outside, and we have a whole lot of Lego to transport out there. So let's get moving. Wait, what are you doing? We're gonna make the Lego fly. Right now, we will discover if Lego can fly. Jake, that's not a good idea. 100% is, Logan. Right, it's a little high up. You're gonna break all the no, Legos. No, Logan, the Lego's gonna fly safely to the ground. Lego is so light that using the trajectory and the weight of the plastic, it'll nicely fall straight to the ground. Jake. Okay, Lego can't fly. Okay, so we moved all the Lego downstairs safely, not the way Jake did originally, while, well, you know, just throwing it off and breaking all the Legos everywhere. As you can see, that did not work out too well. Isn't that right, Jake? I mean, they still got down here, so you know, it's like, like it half works. We'll just take some out there and find a spot to set up camp for the night. Guys, I am not camping the night. Jake's on his own with this one. In order to build this Lego fort, guys, I had to travel many miles out into the wilderness. Currently, snow goes on forever. I don't know where I am, but I know I can survive with my Lego. Okay, I'm kidding. We're just we're just in the backyard. But you know, it's still survival. It's cold out here. It's icy, and we have the remnants of our snow fort. This is all that's left of that snow fort we made a while ago. Ugh. 
Like so, open. Check out, check out these snowball holders. Dude, the whole thing fell apart. I really wanted to expand on it, guys, but we just didn't get enough snow. So maybe next year we'll get even more snow. Maybe Logan will let me rent a bulldozer and we can pile up snow, go even bigger. But I'm thinking for this, in order to build, if we build it here, it's gonna be too much on a slant. And I was trying to set it up on this ice, uh, but Lego just kind of, well, it, it slides all over the place. The weather is kind of gloomy, so I'm hoping it doesn't start raining. Cause... It literally might start raining, yeah. Jake. This, uh... Make sure we get a roof and a floor on this thing fast. Yeah. All right, let's get to building. Uh, guys, we have a big problem. It's starting to rain, and we are nowhere near done the shelter. We barely have all the walls done, let alone a roof or a floor. Jake, you chose a day that it's raining to build a fort made out of Lego. All right guys, so the Lego box fort is complete. However, there's one big problem. As you guys can see, there's definitely not enough room for the both of us, Jake. Yeah, it's, it's a little cramped in here, which is why guys, I told you, you need to smack that like button so we can get some more of these Legos. But it did actually come together pretty sweet. We got a roof on top, we built up all the walls, and we even made a door here. And it's actually really warm and cozy once you're inside. You just kind of grab the door like this. Close it up. Right now I'm currently working on a Lego table for myself to eat my dinner on because uh, I don't have any like chairs or tables or anything like that in here. So working on the Lego table should have that done soon, but I've got all of my survival gear in here and just kind of setting up and uh, getting cozy for the night. So Jake, you want to spend 24 hours in here? Yes, I do. Well, good luck with that, Jake, because I'm going inside. <gasps> Wait. What? what? I mean, I said I'd help you build the fort, but I didn't say I'd sleep here, Jake. There's no room for the both of us. But Logan, it's, it's, a, it's a dual survival challenge. I can't survive on my own. Plus, you bought all the gear. You didn't even tell me what you bought. Jake, I bought you everything you need. You're fine with what's here. Good luck. And Jake, one more part of this challenge. Just so I know, you stay here all night. I'm going to lock the door. Wait, but the, no, 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 Lo Logan, you can't just do it. You can't leave me on a challenge all by myself. Logan, what about the raccoons? I got you something for the raccoons. Logan, you can't just leave. This is... Jake, I'll come get you in the morning. No, please don't leave me. No. Logan? No. Okay, guys, it looks like this is officially turned into a Papa Jake solo challenge. You guys know Papa Jake solo challenges are 100% more savage. And also, Logan's gone, which means I have no one to defend me from the raccoons. Okay, okay, well, that's that's all right. He's, he's locking the door to the house, which means we can officially not go back inside at all. And I can only use the items that he bought for the challenge. Okay, we just, we can't panic here. First things first, let's get this door closed. Make sure no raccoons or anything like that get in here. All right, with the door closed, it's actually a lot warmer and toastier in here. I got my shoes over here. This shouldn't be too hard. I've done lots of 24-hour challenges before. He didn't give me a sleeping bag though. And it sounds like it's raining. Okay guys, so update for you. I've been inside the Lego fort for a little while now. I was actually able to make, with some of the spare Lego we have, a uh, little Lego table and a Lego fork for my dinner. So I'll be able to eat dinner here, which is uh, really nice. I also decided it would probably be a good time to go through what Logan packed us, so we can get an idea as to what we have to survive this night with. It looks like he didn't give us all that much. Uh, I found a guitar and, uh, oh, oh, okay, great. Yeah, th thanks, Logan. This is exactly what I'm gonna use to defend myself from raccoons. I thought Logan was giving us some sort of legit defense mechanism. He gave us a dollar store bow and arrow set. All right, well, we have this. Uh, oh, looks like we have some glow sticks. All right, well, I guess we could set these up, maybe uh, spruce it up a little bit in here. I know the uh, interior decorating isn't uh, all that nice currently, but you know, it's pretty homey and I can't complain it is warm. So uh, I'm gonna set up some of these lights and update you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, check this out. I actually went ahead and grabbed some tape from the flooring and strung up with some string that I found all of the glow sticks for like this epic light display inside the fort. I still have my lights in here, which I'm gonna uh, turn back on because it is getting kind of cold and these give a little bit of heat for me in here. Of course, Logan locked the door so I can't go back inside and get any more resources. So I had to use some tape from the flooring, but all in all, it's, uh, it's holding up pretty good. I also found this thing in Logan's pile of stuff that he gave me. He really honestly gave me like nothing to use for actual survival, uh, but it looks like it's like a, like a wheel Beyblade or something. So I thought we could go outside and maybe try some epic stunts with this. I have no idea how this thing's gonna work, but maybe we could use it to fend off those raccoons. All right guys, let's, uh, let's go on a little 
outside mission, see what's going on outside, see how the fort's holding up. All right, as you guys can see, all nice and dry and warm inside here. Super safe and comfy, but uh, out here it is freezing cold and currently raining. Let's get that shut so nothing gets in there. Structural integrity of the fort is looking uh, not too great. This is completely soaked. If this rain doesn't let up, I don't know if this fort is gonna withstand. I mean, the Lego will, but the top roofing might cave in on me during the night. Let's see how this raccoon self-defense mechanism would work. So let's load it up here. See if Logan gave us something worth using. Three, two, one. Guys, this rain is getting really bad, so I think we should get back inside the shelter and maybe start thinking about having some dinner. All right, guys, we're back inside. I've got my Lego spoon, our Lego table, and let's see what Logan packed. Logan said he packed me dinner, okay? This is not dinner, Logan. This isn't funny. I'm trying to survive here for 24 hours. He packed me Lego. I get it, I get it, because everything in this fort is Lego. Yeah, I have a Lego spoon. Yeah, I have a Lego table. Yeah, I have Lego walls, but I don't have to eat Lego. And he locked me out of the house, so all we have to eat is literally Lego. So uh, this is dinner. It is gummy Lego. You can put them together. So I guess I'm gonna uh, build myself a dinner and I'll uh, get back to you guys. Okay guys, so I made myself a Lego hamburger complete with bun, blue meat, because why not, ketchup and lettuce to top. I don't have a bun to go on top, so I guess I'll just add some more lettuce. Uh, but this is uh, my Lego hamburger for dinner. So eating Lego inside a Lego shelter while trying to survive 24 hours outside. I think I'm getting a little sick of Lego. Okay, well, uh, you know, it's actually not that bad. It tastes pretty good using my uh, my table here with my Lego fork. So, oh, I lost a little bit of the Lego fork. Let's see if I can get a piece here. There we go. So all in all, all in all, not too bad. The only thing I don't have right now is water. And honestly, I don't know if this Lego gummy food is gonna be enough for me to survive off of. Guys, I think we might need to rethink this. I think we need to go primitive survival up in here. We've got a few scraps left of Lego, so I think I'm gonna make myself a rain catcher and try and gather some water. And I say we use this and see if we can go out and do some hunting for some food. All right, and here we go, guys. With a little bit of time and effort, I was able to make a Lego rain catcher, which I'm gonna use to catch water in, so we'll have something to drink. But maybe we'll get lucky and get some food. All right, guys, I'm no survival expert, but is this wheat? Can we eat this? Let me know in the comments. Traveled a little ways away from the fort, and I found, I thought I found berries, but those aren't berries. Never mind. No food up here either. Guys, I thought the wild was just like one big grocery store. You know, you just come out here and there's a ton of food everywhere you look. But apparently we have nothing growing in our backyard that we can eat. Okay guys, so a little bit of good news. My rain catcher actually caught some water. So at least we have a little bit of water. I'm gonna bring this inside and quench some thirst because I am extremely thirsty. Okay, that was like one sip of water, not even, and we're out. But I mean, at least it worked, and we made a rain catcher out of Lego, so not bad. All right, guys, back in the fort. Things are uh, not going so well. Had no food, had no water. It is extremely cold. I thought that because the season's been changing, it would not get this cold. I also did not think it was gonna rain. Right now, I'm just trying to stay warm, stay positive, and make sure I complete this challenge because I wanna prove that I can survive a night in a Lego fort. I wrote this song while inside a Lego box fort. Oh, Lego. I'm so sick of Lego. I ate Lego for dinner and I drank out of a Lego cup. If I see another piece of Lego, I might let go of my dinner. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, okay guys, up update for you. Um, I was just lying here chilling. So this piece kind of folded over and the entire roof main wall just fell down like this and I got a ton of water all over me. Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna see if I can repair it guys, but this is not looking good for the Lego fort. I knew we needed a Lego ceiling. Let's see if we can drop this back up like that. It's kind of working, but now we have a leak in the ceiling and I have no tape to fix it and this lego wall looks like it's about to cave in all right guys i didn't want to have to make this update but 
I think I might have to call this challenge. The roof just keeps blowing off every time there's a gust of wind. It also is leaking a ton of water that keeps falling on me. I'm currently freezing, and you guys know we never fake these challenges, so I would... Well, oh, more water fell on me. I would love to say we were able to complete it, but guys, I don't think we're going to be able to. It's just too cold, too rainy, and more importantly, this roof is not going to hold up another 30 minutes let alone all the way through the night. Hey guys, I think if we had some more Lego, if we could make this place bigger for both me and Logan, and we're able to build a Lego roof, I think we'd be able to do this challenge. So I'm not beaten yet. I'm willing to come back and do this again. If you guys can crush that like button so we can get some more Lego and try this challenge again. But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like me trying. Trust me guys, I tried my hardest. And if you have any ideas for future videos we should make with Lego or box sports or anything, be sure to leave them below. But this has been Papa Jake, and I will see all of you guys next time for another awesome video.